Hello, Insiders. This week, we have a special guest. We have Asaf back on the show. Welcome back to the Insider Nation, Asaf. How are you doing? I'm doing uh, doing okay. Doing okay, you know. <laughs> We're in uh, an unusual situation, but the weather is nice. Uh, you know, fingers crossed that we'll 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 go back to normal at some point in the future but in the meantime work must continue to help creators succeed on youtube that's uh that's the name of the game for our team right right and we are uh, full steam ahead so what are you working on yeah so i've been working on the new upload flow which uh by now is already driving more than 80% uh, of daily uploads, uh, which is amazing. Thank you to everyone who's been uh, kind of like taking on the new upload flow. And the last remaining piece for the new upload flow that creators are telling us loud and clear that they want to see as part of the upload flow is the ability to upload videos in bulk. So we actually implemented the, that kind of like capability. And so let me uh, demonstrate. Okay, so this is one of my test channels. To use the bulk upload capability, uh, you would go to the create button at the top and would click on upload videos as you do normally. Mm -hmm. And then you would notice that you can select files now and not just uh, a single file. So if you select multiple files, I prepared a few videos uh, I wanna demo this with. So let's say I select those five videos that I worked on and prepared and I wanna upload concurrently to YouTube. I click open here and then those files will be uploaded linearly one by one. And so we're getting this progress uh, status indicator. You can even navigate to other parts of the, of the product. Mm -hmm. And you will see that the first video being uploaded is already showing up on the video list and the videos that are still pending are still waiting will show up after that one. Mm -hmm. And regardless of where you are in the product analytics dashboard, you will always get this reminder. And that's important because as long as those files are uploading, you mm -hmm. should not close the tab or close your browsers because that will just terminate the, the file transfer. And so while the videos are uploading, what you can do is you have this uh, pencil icon to indicate that you can um, start working on those videos and prepare them for publication. So clicking on any of those videos would take you to the upload screen with the ability to add your title, description, a thumbnail, allocate to playlist, etc. Once the video mm -hmm. is done processing, in this case, the video is finished processing, you can then add end screens and info cards and then set the visibility. Now, if you're a monetizing creators, uh, creator, you might have additional steps in this flow. This is just a simple flow for a simple account. Now you could always um, close this model. Uh, it won't publish the video. It will save it as privately as draft and go back to editing any of the other videos that have uploaded. Those are all done now. Upload is complete. You should see all of the videos here in the video list. Now it's safe to close the tab, close the browser, close this kind of like status box. One thing that comes to mind, Asaf, is that this is a different flow to the classic uploads experience. The classic bulk uploads experience, it has it like on one giant page. And I know in our early testing, most people liked this new layout, but some people were saying, oh, you know, I kind of miss that like mega control panel vibe. Can you kind of walk us through the thinking on why we did it that way and, and how we're, we're, we're approaching this? Yeah, sure. So the, the kind of like legacy upload experience uh, and also the, the bulk legacy upload experience was designed at a time where YouTube had very few guidelines on how to upload your video to YouTube. Um, you could basically choose which fields you want to populate, which ones are uh, kind of like suit your video for publication. Now, since then, and as part of the redesign of the upload flow in general, uh, we know that there are kind of like more requirements um, to prepare your video for publications. You need to declare whether the video is made for kids or not. Uh, we want to encourage you to add things like end screens, which we know are helpful and you creators love and use. And all this kind of like additional structure and additional steps we wanted to design in a way that is uh, more ha has more guidance around it and is more useful for creators. This is why we allow you in this new bulk experience to upload multiple videos concurrently on the same page. You don't need to open multiple tabs and upload a single video in each tab. 
Uh, but then preparing each video for publication is something that we want to be uh, help creators be mindful of. Cool. Well, are there some things, Asaf, that you are curious about that you want to get feedback on as you think about where you're going to take uploads in the future that, uh, you know, the Insider Nation's always amazing with the direct customer feedback in the comments. And I know you read it regularly. So uh, now is your chance to get some free user research. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. If you guys have anything missing from the new upload flow, like something is missing or broken or slightly annoying, please let us know mm -hmm. in the comments. We want to understand why and what we can improve in the new upload flow to make it uh, better for you. And the other thing is specifically around like scheduling and whether you publish your video straight away or do you typically go to private or unlisted and only then publish the video. I'm curious to understand how people kind of like schedule their videos and, and why, what's the rationale? You know, I'm going to, I'm going to throw out a feature request. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help but talk about this and not think like, oh man, I wish we had X. It'd be interesting to see if uh, other creators actually say, well, maybe I disagree with Tom. I think something else is more important. But you know, one thing I've struggled with, uh, with both of the upload flows, uh, even with the new one, is sometimes when I'm doing like a batch upload and I've got five or six and I wanna kind of like space it out, I have to remember in my head, okay, when did I schedule the second upload? And you know, I, I often wish I could look at it like a little calendar and would have like a dot indicating like, okay, yeah, you know, if you want to have it every other day, or frankly, if it could just auto schedule for me and it'd be like, look, if you want to spread it out over the next week, like we got you covered, you know, you should do it on this day and this day. And maybe it uses like audience uh, data about like when they're oh. most interested or something like that. That would be sweet. <laughs> Oh, I love that idea. Uh, yeah, definitely a calendar view. If you have a busy calendar, something to help you plan your publications, mm -hmm. I can see how that would be useful for kind of like creators regularly upload. Yeah, to your question on uh, getting feedback from the Creator Nation, if you guys use the schedule functionality, so basically kind of like a fire and forget, you know, do you also at that time go to your computer and sit next to the analytics or the comments, mm -hmm. or you kind of like let it go live? without attending it and then checking the all the, the stats a day later or so. I, I appreciate you, Asaf, for coming back on the show. And uh, we'll see everybody in the future. Everybody keep it real. Keep it real. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Tom.